other day. As soon as uh, David Hay withdrew with his fight with Tony Bellew, offering yourself to fight Tony Bellew for next May. We saw a clip from Tony Bellew, I think he was on Soccer AM. Yep. Seems to be welcome, welcoming that fight, branding you Stavros flatly. Um, I think previously I've never really heard Tony Bellew speak about the possibility of fighting you until then. No, it's a, um, it's a bold, shrewd move. Bold move because it's a tough fight and shrewd because he'll get a hell of a lot of money out of fighting me. So, very clever and educated move. Why wouldn't he not want to fight me? Because it's a, it's a great fight that he could win. I've been out of the ring two and a half years, don't forget. Through no fault of my own. Um, to come back with somebody on as high as level as Tony Bellew would be, would it be a suicide mission? A match fit heavyweight, former cruiserweight champion, a man who beat the great David Hay. And let's face it, when I was going to fight the great David Hay, nobody gave me a chance of winning. So how can so many people write off Tony Bellew against me when he beat the great David Hay, who I couldn't have beat, no chance. But the man pulled out twice from me. So how are they saying Tony Bellew's an easy fight for me when he's a match fit, on form fighter who beat the great David Hay? So I think that's a very tough fight. And we all know what happened last time I fought somebody six foot three and 15, 16 stone. Steve USS Cunningham had to climb off my back in New York City and win a fight. So that could be probably the toughest fight out there for a return fight. 